You need to focus on creating content that resonates with customers while also providing them with value. And when I say value, I don't just mean discounts and offers. I mean content and information, just like you're getting here on the Master Your Business podcast, my friend. <laughs> As a high achieving business owner, you know the value of having a strong brand presence. But do you know how to create one? Knowing how to differentiate between brand marketing and brand awareness strategies can help you rise above your competition. Let's take a look at the difference between these two important concepts so that you can start elevating your brand today. What is brand awareness? Brand awareness is all about creating visibility for your company or business, your product or service. It's about getting people to recognize and remember your brand when they see it in the marketplace. This can include things like recognizing your name or your logo or your slogan or your tagline. It's that overall recognition. Brand awareness also includes building trust with customers because you're being consistent in your branding across all platforms, whether it's on social media and your website design or your email campaigns. It's that they get that same overall sense no matter where they come across your brand. So how do you create brand awareness? The key to creating brand awareness is consistency. It's making sure that everywhere your customers look for information about you or your programs, products or services, be that on your blog, on your website, your social media accounts, that whatever it is that they come across, the message and the design elements, that they're consistent. Additionally, it's making sure that any content created for those platforms has an instantly recognizable voice or tone that ties back to the overall branding message of your company. And finally, it's where you can use targeted campaigns on multiple channels, again, across social media or whatnot, to reach new audiences and keep existing ones engaged with fresh content and offers. And folks, let me just add in here that targeted campaigns don't have to be paid. They can be organic, which means that you put in the work without having to pay ads or some channel to push your content out there. So it's about you being targeted in who you're offering services to. So what is brand marketing and how does that differentiate from brand awareness? Well, they are slightly different in that brand marketing focuses on building relationships between customers and brands through storytelling and engagement. It's not just about getting people to recognize your company. It's about telling stories related to your offers that evoke emotion while keeping customers engaged over time. Again, no matter what platform they're using, so website or social media pages, whatever it is. So to create effective brand marketing strategies, you need to focus on creating content that resonates with customers while also providing them with value. And when I say value, I don't just mean discounts and offers. I mean content and information, just like you're getting here on the Master Your Business podcast, my friend. (laughs) So additionally, use customer feedback and data from your marketing to inform your future campaigns but also to kind of gauge what the customer sentiment is like so you can react pretty quickly if you need to. Now, let me tell you, there is immense power of combining both of these strategies because when used together, brand marketing and a brand awareness strategy can be incredibly powerful tools for creating long-term success in your business. They both work towards building relationships with customers by presenting them with a consistent message across the different channels. Again, that increases the chances of them choosing you, your programs, your products, or your services over someone else's. So by combining both of these strategies, you can ensure that people will not only recognize who you are, but they'll also have kind of created an emotional connection with you and your brand and your company making them more likely to buy from you and long-term, especially if you keep pushing out that valuable content to drive them towards becoming loyal long-term customers. 
Okay, so let's summarize. Let's conclude this really short snapshot in today's episode. So creating an effective brand presence takes time and effort. But again, folks, it is so worth it. By understanding the difference between brand marketing and brand awareness strategy, you can develop powerful techniques for elevating your company above competitors in the marketplace. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to both types of strategies. So stay focused on delivering quality content that speaks directly to your ideal clients, no matter where they may be when they're engaging with you online. Combining both of these strategies will set high achieving business owners just like you up for long term success. So want to do a little bit more learning? Well, then I invite you to sign up for some bite-sized learning with my free trial to Business Made Simple. You can get actionable steps, tips, and tricks to optimize your marketing, leadership, sales, products, your overheads and operations, and even your cash flow, all of which will support your brand and your business. You'll find the link in the show notes below. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. If this is your first time listening to the show, or if you haven't before subscribed, shared, or given a review, I invite you to do so today. Until next time.